thesmartlocal.com Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Pretty Smart. My name is Cheryl Kajim and for this episode, we're going to show you some hacks and tips to achieve flawless Japanese skin. Japanese and Korean women have such beautiful radiating skin. They have beautiful weather in the country, very healthy diet, very good sleeping patterns as well. And for us Singaporeans, it's a whole different case. We have to work extra hard to really achieve that flawless Japanese skin. So we're going to demonstrate some tips and hacks on how to achieve that natural glowy look by using some of the Kose products and let's go! So the first step is double cleansing and what we should do is to cleanse our face with the oil and then wash it off with a foam. And I know all of us are not very hardworking. Some of you might be the kind that cleanse your face with the oil and then you don't wash it off with the soap. So one of the benefits of using cleansing oil is that it will melt off your makeup off your face way faster and also the cleansing foam doesn't strip off the moisture while washing your face but it retains the required moisture on your face. It feels like a cleansing milk. It's, it started with an oil but it slowly become like a cleansing milk. So I just cleansed my face with the oil and I rinsed it off and you can tell that my foundation's completely gone because you can see my pimple saying hi, hi to me right now. So all you have to do is press out a little bit and you do not put this on your face. So what you have to do is take a little bit of water and leather on your hand. What you want to achieve is a foam ball because if you apply it straight to your face, it's going to not have its fullest benefits of cleansing your face. It reminds me of like when you have coffee and then they have the foam on top. My skin doesn't feel dry. Because usually when I use a cleansing foam or a washing foam, I would just take it out of the tube, apply it on my face, and then after that I feel like my skin very tight and it feels good, right? Because you think that's the right thing. But no! We've been doing it wrong! And honestly, it doesn't take too much time to leather up the washing foam. All you have to do is take a little bit of water and just like... So now that we've done the double cleansing and my face is stripped off of any makeup, we are going to prepare our skin for the hot towel treatment. All you need is a face towel and also a pail of warm water. Make sure it's not too hot because you don't want to burn yourself. Can you see the smoke? This is quite hot lit. <laughs> so the hot towel treatment is a cheaper option as compared to a facial steamer. It's supposed to open up the pores in your face to prepare your face for any types of mask treatment. So all you have to do is place the warm towel over your face for 30 seconds. Now that we've opened up the pores on our face, the next one we're gonna do is the clear whitening mask. So for this mask, it helps to remove sebum and also remove the blackheads and whiteheads. So this mask is great for guys and girls. You wanna apply a relatively generous amount, but not too much because it will take very long to dry up. And the right way to peel off a mask off your face is to start from the bottom and then from the outside to the inside. <laughs> this is my first time I ever peeled off a mask in one piece. It looks brighter to me and it has pulled out stuff from my forehead that I never knew there was stuff on it. It doesn't feel dry at all. It actually feels quite bouncy. So the next one we're gonna apply on our face after washing and cleansing and everything is the lotion. And what you do with the lotion is usually use a cotton pad and you apply it on your face. But today we're gonna do it differently. We're gonna use a capsule here and we're gonna make a lotion mask. I'm gonna pour the lotion into the cap. We're gonna pop the capsule mask into the lotion. And now we have a mask. This mask will absorb into your skin way faster than the other types of mask. If you leave the mask on for 20 minutes, the mask itself will absorb the moisture from your face back to the mask. So leave it for 3 to 5 minutes and we're good. And also, whatever remaining you have in your mask, treat your neck 
for some goodness too. So the last one we're gonna do today is the facial massage and we got this from Miniso. And you have to massage your face ladies because you need to improve the blood circulation to your face. Honestly, you can do it at home while watching TV. If you don't have a tool, you have your fingers. And here with me, I have this product from Kose and it's a herbal gel and this is a three in one. So we're gonna pick up a cherry sized amount of the herbal gel. It's really relaxing. It doesn't feel like it's clogging up my pores. So the next thing we're gonna do is massage our face. The Japanese women, they do this a lot. So step one is to massage your forehead upwards. So the next one we're gonna do is massage around our eye and you want to use your ring finger because that's the one that's not the strongest. And also this helps to reduce puffiness and also prevent dark circles. You are preventing the laugh lines that form as you grow older. And we're done! And it was so fast, that took less than 2 minutes. And you only have to do this max twice a week. If you're using this as a moisturizer, use a little bit lesser so it is not so dense on your skin. But if you're using it like a sleeping mask, you do not have to wash it off. See all these products on my hand? I'm gonna like use it as a moisturizer for my elbows and also for my neck. So the final tip is... Green tea! Green tea is very good. All the Japanese women, they drink it every single day. It's full of antioxidants and it's really good to like drink it and cleanse your body from the inside out. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode today. Thank you guys for watching. Try it yourselves and see how it benefits your skin over the time. And till then, take heart, be kind and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!